welcome back so this is a continuation of the, of the previous video intro introduction so i call this home page so from this home page icon as you can see my my cursor is moving on the screen and before moving before even trying to do anything on, on the word here i want i i will, I will expect you how it's expected of you even if you're a beginner or you're an intermediate level person who is just trying to learn about what so i'm seeing you as someone someone so let me, let me just assume you're someone who's just learning this i'll be teaching you the control keys so if you want to know this step by step when you type control control a it simply it's simply telling you that it simply means to select all the document control a let's say you've typed the document that is now you press control a and you can see selecting all that's a function of control a we also have what we call control x x for xylem i mean x for xylem for xylophone so you press that it simply means to copy to copy and cut so when you're copying this thing now, that means when you're copying this file, you're copying this uh, this word now. It simply means you're gonna copy it. It's gonna be it's gonna save in, uh, into into your uh, cursor, and and at the same time, it's gonna it's gonna delete it from this place. So let me press the Control X. So as you can see now, so let me try if I can get an on screen keyboard, on screen keyboard here, so I can see the function. So you can see I still have that in our screen keyboard is gonna display now. So here now. So where is my screen keyboard? Okay. So let's say I'm pressing my control A now. You can see selecting all. That's control A. So now if I also want to press control X, that I just tell you now, you call that control. It's, that's it. That means to copy and cut. If you want to bring it back, if you want to, you want to undo what you just did. Let's say you've copy, you've deleted, you've tried to you delete it, or you've tried to like cancel it out. That now when you want it back, you press control Z. When you press Ctrl Z, it's going to bring it back onto your screen now. As you can see, that's exactly what is happening there. We also have what we call Ctrl C. Ctrl C is the only mean to, to, to copy. That means you want to copy, you want to, you want to copy the file into your cursor only. Now, if you like, you can go and drop into a notepad or anything. You can go, and, let's say, let's try that Ctrl C. It won't cut it away there. So if you op, try to open your notepad, you can press Ctrl V. Ctrl v, v simply means to paste it anywhere you want to drop it. You can see now, just paste it there now. Exactly what is happening there. I also have Ctrl B. Ctrl B on the in Word simply means to bold it. It means to, those are the short keys that I'm telling you. And we also have Ctrl N. It means to open a new window. You can see now it's opening a new world, yeah? a new window. What so I need, I don't need that, so I just have to like cancel that out. So I also have when you have control, when you have control, control I, it, sim it simply means you want to slant. It simply, it simply means you want to slant it. And as you can see, man, uh, 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 but by using some short keys now, it's having effect on here simply because using the short key is like doing it gradually, step by step here on the screen. So these are these are these are the, these are the short keys. We also have Control S. Control S simply means for the first time of, of opening a word, of opening a window. If you press Control S, it's going to save it and ask you to use the name to save it. So you're going to come here on the computer. You're going to press desktop. So you're going to use it to save a name like my word so I'm, I'm typing my word there so that's that's that now so there are other other ones that you can also like control l control e control r control w control q and also on and so on and so forth so i'll be teaching you the on-screen device now from the home now so if you, if you come onto this file section now you put a click on file you're going to see different menus there you can see you're going to you're going to see new that's control n when you press O, that's con open. That's Control O. When you press C, that's Control S. For the first time, if you, if you have been saving before, you press Control S. And if, if it's your first time of saving, you just press Control. When you press on D, when you press this, is that you want to just want to update the file that you've already saved. But this this one is for a new file. You want to create a new name. So Control P, that's print to so print it there. And you also have Control E too. Control E means to export, but this is not what this is where we are, not, not where we are going. So we are still in the home page there. And instead of pressing, pressing Control V now to paste, you can use it, you can use it here as well. So when you, when you click on this again now, it's still going to do the same function. So it's like it's like still using the same con the control set as the first page. So so when you when you try to paste it there, it should, it should put it there. And that's Control Control P. Now, format printer. What's the function of a format printer? If you read it very well now, it has no really. So it's like you just want to create some kind of menus there on the screen here and make and make sure you control the screen there. That's format. Screen. So this Calibri here that you're seeing here, Calibri simply means how you want the writing to be. For instance, now let's say you are typing now. Let's say 
I have this my this is my document there, and I have it already selected because if you if you want if you want anything anything on that on the on the anything you're typing, you want it to be affected on this, you have to ensure that you ensure you have to ensure that it's highlighted by using Control A on all the screen or or by using Control A to select this specific functions there. So a specific word or the one you want to capitalize or the ones you want the one you want to like uh, get, give give the font to. So that is the font for right now. You have Calibri. Calibri is a language, is a basic one that that they usually give. You can see we have a real black. It's changing gradually. So you have to scroll down all the way down to the one you want, and you have to keep keep it on until. But I believe to me, the, the one I, I like using is Time News Nomad because it's the finest of all and it's, it's the most legible. So that's why I call that one there. So when you come here now, you see that this one has to do with the font size. What does the font size mean? The font size simply means how you can increase the, the visibility, how big your, your letters will be. That is what they mean by font size. Now, for instance, now, uh, this is an updated version of 2013. It's, more, it's, not, it's not like 2010, 2007, 2003. They are not even updated. They are not as, as updated as they do. They are okay. And with the aid of these, you can still be able to use this. And the only difference I can just say from these to those previous ones is that they've updated, they've tried to bring out some menus from the underneath. They've tried to bring it forward as well. You can, you can, you can, it can, they can be easily accessible for anyone who needs it within a within. So when you click on this now, you can see this, this is having an arrow, an up arrow. So when you click on this now, you can see it's moving. You can see, you can see that is increment now. And this is also now a decrease. So you can see now this is a decrease. Is a decrease and this is an increase so I, i'll prefer this and i just leave it out not like that so when you come here now you can see this is a change of case it a, a, a case capitalization well so if you click on the sub in the, on the sub here you're going to see this is a sentence case is a lower case that's a small letter the upper case everything should be in capital letter they capitalize each word i mean the starting of each word will be capitalized the togo would have a small big small big small big that's what the togo mean you can see that's a togo and that's a capitalize each word you can see i only have it's like one word here and you have the upper case everything's gonna be in the upper case so when i come here now this is my country b that i've tried to use you're telling you the short called the pre in, in, in when i first started this video so you click on this control b it's there you remove it again and take it away you click on this again that's control b this control i that i've told you this is slant when you click slant the page it, it makes it look more more professional and it, like a fashion had into a kind of design and that's the essence of that but if you know you don't want that okay you have to ensure you always click it when you click when you use any short keys on any any, any word and they've, they've been infected if you don't want them again you have to come down to some to some you have to come and click on click on some Click on another uh, 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 another uh, free page and ensure you try to like disinfect it because if you, when you when you infect it there it, it will look as say you still want you still want to continue using it like it's not a repetition of that effect and this is another uh, underline what's the meaning of underline when you try to underline this now you can see that it is control it's control U you can see that that's control U. So when you press, if is that you like, you press Control U here. You press your Control U. If you press your U on the line here, it's going to underline it. And if you like, on your on your keyboard, you can press Control U. Control U. It's going to remove it. And because I want to put it back there, I'm going to press Control U. So as you can see now, that's it. So what about the this is like canceling of what you've typed? When you've typed something, you want to cancel it. This is like canceling of it. Put it like you like you like when you're when you're searching. Some things on Google and and they are not present there. You realize like Google can just cancel them, and that's that's the essence of that. This is like when this is this X subscript. What does X subscript? If you, if you, in mathematics you're writing a calculation now, uh, uh, you're writing a cal you're, you're writing in calculation, you're writing mathematics, you're trying to like type for a school in in mathematics computation, and you need X subscript two minus X subscript one. How do you make use of that? You just come here, you press this whatever you want to type. For this G, if it's G that I'm typing there, I'm going to give you a capital letter. So let me remove this first. So I want this now. Let me give you my G. So I don't like how small this is. Uh, let me make it big. Let me make it big. So it's going to be, it's going to look professional. So that's my G. Let me remove this there. My G, and I want to give it G to. Are you there now? 
So after pressing my G and I press my two, that two that I'm pressing there is one I'm gonna after selecting that two alone. I press two, it takes it there. Then apart from that, I can now come here. I can put my minus there. I can still press G one. So when I press this again now, I come back here just to give me. You see now I've just can put G2 minus G1 as it as an increment in G. So I can can type that here like this and the cost can also be type as well. So depends on what you now want to type like five or minus four, you know, those mathematics. I'm not doing mathematics here, all I'm just really trying to tell you how to put how to put this cup subscript. Type there. No, so this is square, raised to power. How do you make it like that? It's also the same format as this. Instead of pressing two here, in the case that you're pressing two here, you just select the two. You press the subscript at the top, it takes it up. There you can see it takes it up like flying in, in the sky. That's what it does, that's what that's as what it does there. So flying in the sky, and then you can see that now. And this is like a word art. What do I call this? I call this word art. You see, you have the opportunity of taking different kind of uh, templates of typing, of writing, of thing out of all such all sorts of things. So if, I, if for instance I'm not using this now, I want to try to like give that a font that will be different. You can start giving different font for design, but basically I told you this is used for typing. You don't use Word in design. The package there are numerous packages that you can use to design. So you don't use Microsoft Word to design. So you need to understand that you don't use Microsoft Word to design. So please. Whenever you want to design, I will also be taking classes on design. But for now, let's concentrate on Word. Word is very, very important. Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is very, very important. So let me continue from here now. So I'm continuing now. So when I come here now, we've done this now. This is a, this is a, this is not this is useless. You don't you don't need this. This is not necessary. You put this like you're painting an underground of of a letter. So you don't you don't use this. I see. You can see. You can see it's like a, a cra using a crayon on a letter, like others, others kindergartens today and trying to design some kind of thing that won't even come. Uh, you know, it happens, it happens. So, so, <laughs> so as you can see now, so I don't need that. I don't simply, I don't, I don't believe it. So if you don't want any color, you can simply just remove any color there. Then it's remove any color there you have there. So it is that you just, you just want stuff highlighting. You, know, you want other stuff. So. So when you select this, you still have to get have it selected. If you know you don't want any color, you can see it's back to it right now. But this is the one that is very, very important. So please pay attention to this now. You can see from this font now, when you click on this, it's going to change the font. But you, I told you that you must always ensure that you select what you want to effect. You can see now, you give it a different color. It's effective. It's the perfect one that you're using. You see on the on different business cards, different things. So these are teams because these are teams color as you can see now. Now on the second paragraph, paragraph aspect now. So I have this paragraph and I call this paragraph in I call this bullets. What kind of bullet is it? What do you use bullets for? Bullets are used to bullets are used in, in designing a, a content. When you have a content that you want it to be designed like like you want to design an event content, this is some kind of design out there. Let's say for instance now you want to type Let's say you want to use a designer. This is my head word now, and I want to design this. So I'll just come here to this subscript here. This is none, this is zero. If it's this one I want, I'll just type it there. I say my name is this brother. So you can see now the way immediately you keep set, uh, typing enter, it comes down to the bottom. It also give you she is a girl. You can see, and that's how you make it of this. Ah, she is a Student, you can see. So that's exactly though. Uh, that's how you make it a bullet. You can also change it when you have your bullet. You can still select them and still change your bullet. Bullets can still be changeable. So, so it depends on the one you want. You can see. You can still make it a different one. You can see. You can still change it. You worry about this. You can still make it of this too as well. So and if you like, you can you can use any of this. Any any. So also numbering numbering of numbering of bullets. But numbering in letter. If it's that you don't want those letters, you can use letter after. I mean numerical letter. Roman figure one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So you can if you make it up, this gonna it's gonna keep counting as well. So when you press this, it's gonna tell you all uh, this is four, you press this, this is five, you press this, this is six, you press this, this is seven, and so on and so forth. So that's how you make it up that. 
That is, I don't want that you want the one, two, three as well. It's going to change it to one, two, three. As you can see, it's affecting it. You want the one with bracket, the one, two, three, call it bracket. It gives you the one, two, three with call it bracket and the likes of other. So, I guess you, I hope you understand. You're trying, you're getting what the message I'm passing by in this video regarding the home. You can see it's a wide variety of, quite a wide variety of. Of, of features and what and what is very wise I believe it's it's just normal that you pay attention you take your time to go through all the you follow the step by step and I'm and I, I trust you and I believe you you're gonna thank me at the end of this video that I'll oh, thank you I really gained something from this so if you, know, you want to make it of this you want to make it of something like this you want it to look like this you can see you have a subscript a uh, one subscript A, uh, one room. after subscript A, you have A Roman figure, subscript Roman figure one, and so on and so forth. Like this, in this format, is that you want it in format, anyhow you like it, it's gonna take you. That's uh, as a function of bullet, that's how to make it a bullet. So, also here now, what you're talking about, how you type, how you, how you reset what you are typing, how you reset it on the screen, how you want it to be, how, where you want it to start. Is it that you're typing a letter? Is it that you're typing an, an is it that you want to type an essay? Is it that you want to to type if it's that you're typing an essay is that you want you're typing different thing you have to know where to start for a formal letter and if you're typing the format that you are helping the customer to type a customer or a client to type a customer if a letter or if it's a, either is a formal letter informal letter different kind of letters if it's an essay you have to know an essay your Edward have to start from the beginning now here is it let me show you something like this let's say I'm typing proposal now you have to select it first. I'm selecting like this. So from after selecting here now, if it is that you want it to be at this side, at the at the left hand side of your screen, you leave it this way, it's still there. If it is that you want it to be at the middle, you press the middle here. And if it's that you want it to want it to press to be at the extreme end, you press this. And what are the shortcuts for that? If it's that you want it to be on the left side, you press Control L. See, Control. Al, you can see it's there as on the, your left hand side. Then at the middle, control E, that's the middle, and control R, and that's the right. So, and if you want it to just be on a straight form, you can just press this. You can see that's the basic thing. All right, so that's how you make it all this, all this bullet icons as well. So now you have what we call indents. What is indent? Indent are Make use of rulers, how you make use of your how you make use of your margin at the top here, yeah, how where you start it from, from the from where the product the paragraph is gonna be starting from the margin, from the likes of that. So that's what we by in there. So this is already at the extreme end, but you want it to move to the right hand side. What do you do? You just come here, you press on this, and you can see it's moving, you can see it's moving. But the other 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 short keys that can work for that. For instance, you start pressing on tap, it's much more, much more faster than that. So that's tap for you. That's tap for you if you're pressing that. Also, space back, but it's going to be very long before it gets to the destination. So that's not what I'm doing. So that's what indentation you move to the right, move to the left, move to the right, like. Like a car moving up and down, like you're pushing a, a car. So that is exactly what that is telling you. Now, what about the index of up and down between line and spacing? You call this line and spacing. Now, here is it now. In between this and this, now let's say type in this as an address, like a block form address. Now, let's say I have this my address now. And then realize is that I need to. I don't want. I don't want my my CV or my address to be more. The, the space in between them is too wide, and I don't like that. So you just have to come here. Click on 1.0, 1.15. You can see it's getting more wider. But if you need something less than 1.0, you can still magic. You can still make it up that. You come to line spacing option. This is after the spacing a. This one is telling you before the zero point. That, that nothing is affecting it. This is after eight point. It means it's telling it's telling you the point that is in between the first one and the second one. And if you need to be very careful now, the way you are affecting is there. It will be affecting it here, here. It will be affecting it here. So the how it's affecting, affecting from the upper end and the lower end is what you consider. So if I were you, I'll come and choose 1.5 line. Is it okay? If it's not okay, but I might choose one point, one single line. So choosing a single line, let me try it first. If this works. Oh, wow. I, I still don't like that. So let me come back there again. Uh, let me come, let me take this back to zero. A single line, you can see it's more closer. Yeah. This is what I want to achieve. So if I want my, my address to be on the left hand side, just come right hand side. Yeah, that's my address. 
So if I want if I want to write a second address like a formal letter, I have to come back to the left hand side. I'm gonna change the form as well. I'm gonna change the form as well. So let me use this. Uh, that's Ctrl Z. Yeah, I told you. Tell you that. This is very interesting. What is uh, okay? So that's my second address there. So that's the that's the usage that's the usage of this now. But if it's that you want the pages to be very wide, like you don't care. You, you don't you don't you don't care. You just want it to be 1.5, 2.0, 2.0. You can start doing that up to like 3.0 or even much more more than that. You can see you can do that how you like. So line spacing option. That's what I just said. Add space before paragraph. That means you want to add a space at the top or upper. I will up off of the paragraph. You can see it's coming there. So when you want to add a space after paragraph, that's below or after the paragraph. After below, yeah. After the paragraph, so let me try that for you so you can see. Please, after paragraph, you can see. So, it's a preview. so, so let me come back. And this is sorting out. What do you mean by sorting? You know, there are some times when you be putting some t some let letters arranged in our numerical. We have and we have uh, we have ascending order of arranging order of, of letters and descending order even numbers too. Ascending order is arranging from the small to the biggest. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. And the same way we also have descending order too. So what do we mean by descending order? Descending order is arranging from the from the largest, from the highest back to the low. That's ten, nine, eight, seven, and so on and so forth. So you can use sorting here as well. So we're using sorting here. You click on. Do you want to sort? You want to arrange the text? Is it the number or the date? You want to, you want it to be arranged from in ascending order or descending order? Is it the paragraph that you want to arrange like that? Is it the headings? Is it the field? The field are what you type. The headings are the letters there, and the paragraph are the paragraph. You know what the paragraph is. And I'm sure you have idea, right? So that's how you make it of setting. Now, if you look at this, now this one is shading. Oh, I don't think this is much more interesting. You can see you want to shade what you just write. So shading. <laughs> that's shading for you. You can use any of these if you like. Use any of this. So let's see. Let me use this now. You can see that's my shading now. So what was this? I got this border. When you're talking of border, it border has to deal with how to remove and selecting. Let's say for instance that you have long typing project, long typing words project like ten, like two thousand, three thousand words you've typed. I now want to add a picture. Or you want to put a border there, and like you want to design, you want to design, you want it to be very good, you want to change the border. Border is adjust the edits around what you've typed, around like this, around what you've typed. Borders are what you around what you done. So let's try. So when you are talking of top, top border, you can see bottom. This is bottom border. This is top border. So you now different type of. So border and shading, you can even you make it that you can change the form. You can use you can use a box. You can you can change the effect of the board. These are very lines. These are broken lines. Different type of. As you can see, these are border. So when you type this now, it's going to give that a eh, to be it. So you can as well give it to the whole paragraph. Too. If you want to give it to the whole paragraph, too, you can as well give it to the whole paragraph too, if you like. So if you are giving it to the whole paragraph, you have to select page border. So you put a page border. It's going to give you this, and uh, this is going to give you this. Uh, you can see that's page border. And that's how they do that. So that's you can as well have a border to different inside a vertical border, inside a horizontal border. You can draw a horizontal line and draw a table. You can draw anything you like. So these are also the the sub of what you can also do. These are normal different font. This is this. You can you try using different fonts for this. These are already made font that are given there by Word. So what is this find? If you want to find a name, you want to find a document, you want to find anything. If you want to type, type find anything. Once you once you click on there, you type it. It's gonna bring it back to you. It's gonna highlight it in here in the project to you. So what you just find? If you want to replace it, you click on replace. You're gonna type proposal. You want to give it. Let's say let me let me say I'm calling calling let me call this event. So that's why I'm replacing it. Find proposal and replace it with event. So I'm replacing this with event. So I'll replace it. You're gonna see it's gonna revent, it's gonna replace it. The thank you, it has automatically re replaced it by itself. Here is it. So, thank you. That's how you do that. And select how do you select? You're going to select orders control A, select object. You want to select object, you have to take your cursor on it, or if you like, you can just select all text with similar formatting, no data, select main. And that is the end of home.
page of this world. So please stay tuned and we continue as we continue in my next video to the insights class. Thank you.